Hi, this is Kelsey Safar, mechanical design engineer from Saratech, and welcome to our tips and tricks tutorial series. If you have any questions about anything covered in this tutorial, please be sure to ask your questions in the comments below. Today I'll be going over how to use Checkmate in an X. This tool can be used to enhance the quality of your parts and your drawings. Ensure that you have a part open to view Checkmate, and you can see Checkmate in two ways, under the menu analysis section, you'll see how to set up tests in Checkmate. But today we'll be utilizing HD3D tools. With this icon, it's Checkmate is set under visual reporting. By double clicking, we can see the dialog box. Here, as you quickly saw, those were some previous results in the results window. And you can control additional settings shown here. And to set up tests, simply select the setup test button. And in the parts tab, we can control the amount of parts that we are going to test on. So you can either select one single current part, all loaded parts, or a, part, or a number of parts in a directory. And you can see all the parts that are loaded that are going to be set up against the test. And to select tests, go to te the test tab. And what's nice is that if your part has a drawing connected to it, you can also run the uh, a, a multiple of drafting tests on that part. So for example, as we can see here, we have the model, but we're going to test to see if our, dra or if our drawing views are up to date. And let's check the modeling. So let's see if the sketches have automatic dimensions, if they're fully constrained, and we're also going to check to see if our geometry is good. So if it's in within specific smoothness or tolerance dimensions, make sure, making sure that it doesn't have any spikes or cuts. So we'll add those. And these are by double clicking or selecting the down arrow button, we can add them to our selection of chosen tests. Now NX has around 300 pre-made tests, so you can run your parts across a multiple of different types of tests to enhance the quality of your designs. Next, in the, under the Run Options tab, you can control your tests by having them stop on either an error or a warning, and you can also create a log file as we're going to do as well. So you can set it to whatever directory. And by selecting Execute Checkmate Test, we can see that the checking is quickly completed and we have two errors. So let's go ahead and see what those would be in the result window. We know that our drawing needs to be up to date, but we also see that our sketches have automatic dimensions. If you have any questions about what the results are, simply double click and the window will come up with the results. So here we can see under the test description that this checker checks if any of the sketch objects and the sketch features in the work part contains automatic dimensions. So let's go back to our sketch and see if we can fix that. And as you can see, uh, with the two width, that it is an automatic dimension. So let's make that driven. And when we finish it and rerun the checks, we can see that that now that is approved. And we didn't have to save our part to update Checkmate. But we do know that the drawings still need to be up to date. So let's go back to the drafting application. And as we can see here, that we do have to update our drawings. So by updating it and going back, let's see what the results in Checkmate will be. So going back to HD3D tools, let's go ahead and execute the same amount of chosen tests. And here we can see that our part and our drawings are now up to date with the correct and proper results. So let's go ahead and save the work part. And let's go ahead and view the log files that come up. So here we can see the number of check my files that we have. So going to the most updated one, we can see in an a website, an HTML, HTML site, that all our results pass. But we can also have a history of our previous Checkmate's results as well. Thank you for watching this video in how to use Checkmate in NX. 
Please remember to like and subscribe this video and to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you would like for us to create, please add them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our other support videos here on our YouTube channel and tune in to our customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursday of each month if you'd like to get more helpful information. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.